Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather. Yeah, the big weather story today, the record-breaking heat, 96 degrees in the Hartford area. Again, that ties the all-time warmest temperature to occur in April. And yeah, certainly blowing out of the water, 82, the previous record high. The low was 56, a normal low, mind you, is supposed to be 38, and the high of 60. We really don't see a lot of these numbers anytime soon. Uh, another number that is high is the uh, pollen count tomorrow. It may come down just a hair going into Sunday because we do have a little bit of rain on the forecast later on tomorrow into maybe Sunday morning. So that's what we need, a little rain to knock down the numbers. Again, tree pollen is on the high side right now. As we take a look at the live view, it looks gorgeous right now. The green in New Haven at 60 degrees. The winds are calm. I was in New Haven earlier today. Uh, we have a Worcester Park. Again, they're going to be having the Flowers, the Cherry Blossom Festival happening on Sunday. So looking gorgeous there. Everything in bloom. High level clouds been streaming in from the southwest. Eventually we're going to see some rain and maybe even a thunderstorm tomorrow, especially during the evening hours. You can see that counterclockwise swirl that's been keeping things kind of cooler down across the south. That is all shifting in our direction. So eventually we will see a little bit of rain. So if you're one to, you know, care about the lawn and need to put a little fertilizer down, hoping for some rain, you might go ahead and do that before it moves on in. But as we take a look at future cast, the high level clouds continue to thicken up and uh, we will see most of the rain chances holding off until the evening. So we start off dry, thickening clouds. The first part of the day is looking fantastic. And then we start to see after four o'clock, the better chance for some showers developing from the shoreline lifting northward. It looks like during the evening, not everyone sees rain out of this. OK, and then those those of you that do, you could see a heavy downpour, some indication of that uh, down south of Hartford through the Chester area in New London. So maybe Hartford eastward, a better chance for some of those pockets of downpours. So the day ahead features highs in the 70s inland, low 60s to mid 60s uh, along the shoreline. Again, some of those showers building in towards the second part of the day. So again, it's this upper level system kind of spinning around, heading in our direction, and that's going to give a little burst of rainfall to some places tomorrow. We need it. And then as we get into Sunday morning, still some wraparound moisture, uh, but a lot of that will be on the way out. So improving weather on Sunday. And again, some areas will get some beneficial rainfall. Other spots, you're going to have to continue continue to do the watering as we've been mentioning abnormally dry conditions starting to develop. Now as we look ahead to another opportunity for rain again on Sunday that low pressure system exits, but then here comes a front with a more appreciable chance for some showers going into Monday Monday afternoon uh, before things kind of improve as we head into Tuesday. So your early warning seven day forecast features a little bit of rain later on tomorrow into early Sunday. Then we catch a break, more rain on Monday. And those temperatures, I guess closest to normal by Tuesday with a high of 60, but those overnight lows, I don't see anything frosty out there just yet. Doesn't mean we can't see a frost, but certainly staying above average. And those shoreline temperatures generally in the 60s.